Hey guys, Dancy2, back with more Spiral Knights. Uh, today we have even more Gunner updates. Because last time I just did kind of overview looking at the patch notes, and today I've actually had time to play around with it a little bit. I decided to become a ninja for reasons unknown even to me. And I have finally, finally, well not really finally, but still, figure, I have finally figured out how the armors work. Um, clearly I am wearing one of the new armors because the most effective ninjas in history were renowned for their use of guns. I am clearly being sarcastic in this remark. Why does the ninja armor use guns? That, that's just crazy. I mean, I, I can't argue with the aesthetics. I love the look of all three of the new armors, or... I don't know, I, it, 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 it's weird. In total, there's about, like, in total as far as five-star armors go, there's about 36 different ones I think I calculated out. Um, but technically speaking, there's only three, and I'm actually going to drop that down to one, but that's just to keep my sanity intact, and because I think it's actually a little bit more impressive if you just count it as one armor. Because here's the thing, it all stems from a single line. All of these armors, all the armors that I got my head in the knot about, all actually come from a single piece of one-star gear. Yes, this is the first line that actually goes all the way from one-star to five-star, which is interesting. Um, because of the fact that this is actually a very, very good thing, because up till this point, one star has essentially been a joke. And when they put in, um, when they tied equipment to ranks where you couldn't equip a piece of equipment if you weren't a certain rank, when they did that, it effectively, um, it, it kind of forced you to use really crappy equipment, because for the most part, nobody used one star, because it was all not very good. And no one really still uses it, it's just kind of a placeholder that they give you until you can get the two star and actually start picking lines. But this changes all of that. Um, give me one moment. But yeah, this changes all of that, and it's it changes it for the better. Anyway, un as far as I can tell... Uh, give me a second. I gotta deal with this. All right, back. The pros and con, the pros and cons of having a more active guild. All of a sudden, they are interrupting my videos. Pros, I have a lot more friends online. All of a sudden. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh right, uh, the the armor now starts from one star. Unbeat. Uh, as far as I can tell, there is no actual recipe for this, which kind of sucks. No, go away, Forge. I want the arsenal. Podcast? No. Just my inventory. Um. But yeah, that kind of sucks because I would like a use for my 29 flawed orbs of alchemy. <sighs> because that, that would be really helpful. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what I want to do. I can't do anything with all of these orbs. Like, there's literally nothing I can do with them. Which, which, by the way, uh, 17 Elite Orbs of Alchemy. I had about 25 before, uh, Tornadoes hit, and they're not going anywhere anytime fast. Uh, because I'm probably not going to... The, the funny thing is, my ninja armor, the two-star equipment, or... I, I got the four, st I got the four-star of it before I got the two-star and the three-star. I was buying in advance because, I'll get into it in a little bit, but it's very, very complicated, but... That's part of the intrinsic awesomeness of this armor. But the one star that you start with, you will have to buy from this man. Grieve. Um, the, not only have I never found a recipe after all the diving I did in Tier 1, um, but all of the prices I've seen for them seem to be stacked up to the 3000 standard. So, like, all the prices I've seen on the auction house are straight, like, 5000 buyouts, or 5000 bids. Which is a uh, reasonable increase to the 3,000. So that makes sense. Um, on, a, on a slightly tangential note, this is also why the in the in-game market will never die, because there is a bare minimum buy for buying and selling of equipment and other items and just everything in general. So yeah, for those of you who thought the, the market would die when uh, infinite levels is implemented? No, it won't, because there's a standard for everything. There's a bare minimum and maximum. It's actually a very good thing, but uh, back on topic, you start with that padded armor, 
and from there you basically make a series of choices as you go up in star ranks and that will determine what your armor finally is i'm going to use mine as an example but you can uh you, you can basically pick and choose whatever you want it's basically a customize your own armor which is why i consider it one armor just one armor and why i actually think that's slightly more impressive than the 36 armors that they did implement that being said they just exploded the recipe pool which means trying to find a specific armor that you want is or just trying to find any recipe in the clockworks is going to be infinitely more difficult now so it, it's a good and a bad thing i i really do think that they should have had like a vendor at least for the five star equipment because five stars when it hits the 36 mark it jumps up from like 12 variants to 36 at that point um but anyway you start with the one star padded and when you upgrade the two star you choose the damage res uh, what type of damage you want to resist, whether it's Shadow Piercing and Elemental. This will also determine how your armor looks later on down the line. Obviously, Shadow makes you look like a ninja. Um, piercing is piercing makes you look kind of like a commando sort of thing. It, it looks like it's an armor that's, that came straight out of Halo Reach. And Elemental gives you this uh, kind of Guardian Paladin looking armor that looks like it came straight out of Destiny. Neither of which I can complain about. Like I said, I like all the armor designs they, they came up with. It looks really awesome. Even if they don't really fit gunners for for some parts. I, I, I guess Destiny helped with the paladin armor fitting gunners a little bit more, but still I, I have to I have to question the ninja. It's like why why am I a ninja shooting guns? It, it that would be horrible for stealth. I I don't know. I, I'm being pedantic here. Uh three star, which uh, the bottom half of my armor is 3-star, the top half is 2-star. But the bottom half, as you can see, it has a blue glowy bit on my chest. That is because I chose to resist shock. I do not have a shadow armor that resists shock. It's one. Of, it's the only damage resistance that I do not have in shock as of yet. And I chose this because, uh, you know, filling a niche. But you choose a... At 3-star, you choose a status ailment that you resist you can resist fire shock poison and freeze but you also lose uh resistance to another status ailment when you do that it's just it's something that happens you just choose what you resist and then you take the penalty of another status but that's you know that's to be expected that's just how things work and you're typically not going to face more than one status at a time so just you know prepare in advance know what levels do what and my game should really stop freezing please but yeah, uh, for sh for fire, you lose. You are more susceptible to shock. For shock, you're more you're more you're weaker to freeze. For poison, you're weaker to fire, and for freeze, you are weaker to poison. Um, I'm sure there's an actual order to this because I have a picture that I will probably try and put down in the description that will uh, illustrate everything I'm telling you right now. That some awesome guy on the forums came up with. I, I might actually just link to the forum thread. So I can give him proper credit. Uh, but yeah, that that's the main thing for three star. This will also determine your. Uh, this will also be the first part of your modifier, which for me, because I want shock, is da, 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 Falcon. Falcon is the shock one. Firefly is fire. Snake is poison, and Grizzly is freeze. Um. I, I, they're all fairly useful for gunners. I would I would say Snake is probably the least useful because um, the Shadow Sun armor is still considered to be one of the most powerful armors for gunners, and I'll I'll compare this to the old gunner armors in a minute once I'm done going over this. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd say Snake Bite is probably the least effective, but I'll go over that more in a minute. Uh, when you get the four star, it's straight buffs, and I believe you get. A, oh no, you get ASI at this level. Okay, I thought you got ASI at four star, but apparently you get it at three. Um, I know you don't get CTR until five. Um, but yeah, for for uh, four star, it seems to be just straight buffs. Um, you know, j just a straight upgrade for that in every way. So, except for your modifiers, I think you keep low throughout the entire tree until you get to the very end at five star. Which, at 5-star, you get uh, a little bit of something interesting. At 5-star, you basically pick your specialty. 
or lack thereof. Depending on what you chose at 2 star, as far as what damage you resist, you can opt into getting a medium gun damage bonus on a specific monster family that you resist. For example, for me, I could choose between, um, sorry, Undead and Fiends. Now, obviously, Shock Fiends suck, so I'm going with that. Also, it'll help counteract my um, Fallen a little bit. Also, I like the way it looks better. So, just combine all the three of those together, and my choice has been made very clear to me. I must destroy the Devilite Menace. Um, and that will add a, that will actually change your modifier. As you can see right now, uh, it's just a Shade Helm. For me, it will become Hex. I'm not sure what the other modifiers become, but... Um, so, yeah, by the end of it, I will have... The first word is what is what star level you are, so Sacred is 5, Falcon, and then Hex for the uh, Fiend damage. And that's basically how you build your armors. Uh, obviously, the different damage types will have different uh, monster families they do increase damage to. You could also just choose to keep your standard modifier and keep a low gun damage bonus to everything. So that that's also a fairly useful option. Overall, I, I like these armors. It gives the it gives gunners and non-gunners alike a very nice alternative choice to basically build an armor if you don't like the options available to you. Like, I didn't really like the Divine set that uh, comes out of the uh, Alites, the Alite robes. I didn't really like the Divine set, I didn't like how it didn't have normal defense, and I was kind of debating whether or not I would use it as my Shock and Shadow defense. And then this came along, I'm like, ooh, shiny, something new, something interesting, I kind of like it. So, I, I took it as an alternative option. And and that's what I really do think that these armors should be seen as, as an alternate option. Because, stat-wise, I, I still think most people consider the uh, original Gunslinger uh, armor that started at 3-star, which is another weirdity, because it's one of the only chains that started at 3 instead of 2, so I guess gunners are just weird like that. But I, I think most people consider that to be, in a large part, the more powerful set. And I, I would definitely advise using those sets over their their counterparts for the new armors. It just... Having a specialized armor like that is a little bit better. Like, Nameless is still... I, I would consider going Nameless over a Freeze and Elemental Defense. I would definitely advise using... A, I think it's Shadow Sun. It's the one that gives poison resist and gun damage because that is still considered to be one of the most powerful gunner loadouts. Um, the what is it? Deadshot. Deadshot is actually very tactically useful because the undead bonus that it gives is not limited to your guns, so you can actually use that for other sets as well. So that's actually very useful. And the, the last one, the straight piercing one, I don't think a lot of people use. The, the piercing uh, variants of the new armor set is definitely, I, I definitely say they're the most useful because it's the first time we've been able to get a fire piercing equipment that has normal defense as well. The only other option was the dragon option that I, that I opt into. Uh, so yeah, it's very useful to have alternate options for all these things. And I think it's a very, very welcome addition. However, it does come with the slight problem that now over half the armors in the game are just of this one line and dedicated to gunners. Um, I think that could be a that, that's a very big problem when you're trying to recipe dive, and I can see that being a very big problem for five star recipe diving. Uh, I have not tried five star recipe diving with this new system yet. It's. <sighs> I can just imagine, like, 36 different armors just filling up the entirety of the thing is going to be nuts. You know, it's... It, it's not pretty, but I, I appreciate that it's there. I, I just think that they could maybe take it out of Basil's inventory circulation and maybe give it to a dedicated... and ma Just the five-star part. And maybe give that to a dedicated uh, NPC. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how, how valid of an idea that is considering everything else, but 
you know, you know, just considering the game as a whole and how much that would change it. But I, I feel like it might be a necessary choice in order to balance this properly. Um, aside from that, I haven't really noticed any big problems. Um, just as I suspected, uh, catalyzers are amazing. Because now you now there's no limit to the amount that you can stack on a guy. They just only last for a certain amount of time. So yeah, catalyzers are super fun. Uh, I haven't really had a lot of time to play with the Magnus, but from what I can tell, all the upgrades they made to it made it a much more viable weapon. Uh, the range damage, all, all the bonuses to pretty much everything else worked exactly the way I thought they were going to. I, I haven't noticed... Damn it. I killed him with my bullets. You only do one damage now, but it is enough to kill these fuckers before I can just fully stack them. Language, Dan. You have a younger audience now. Or I assume so. Anyway, that's about it for the Gunner update. It's just, you know, I'm very impressed. Very good. Very well done, everyone. But, you know, at the same time, you know, you, you've just kind of made up for... I, I would say they made up for at least half of the development time with this. However, all the... I, I don't know. I, I was gonna say it. It seems like it's only half the development time they made up for this, but I'm I'm willing to forgive the other half. Like I'm I'm a very forgiving man. Not really, but you know, I, I I'm willing to forgive the half the development time that they didn't make up for with this. And I just realized all of the guys in here are wearing the same equipment. Uh Proto Gear. But yeah, the only problem I see with this right now is if this was all you were working on for that amount of time, we could have a problem. Because at this point, you know, to quote I guess, we have to strike while the iron's hot. You've got the people back now. You have to keep them interested. And if you've only been working on this, that could be a problem. You know, this this was a very good update. But, it's... Honest to God, it wasn't the update I was waiting for. I'm more interested in the arcade overhaul and expansion on Tier 3 and the story content expansion. That's what I really want to see, because Farming Radiance sucks right now. And, yeah. That's... You know, Farming Radiance sucks right now. Which is why most of my gear, I'm probably going to keep at 4 star... And why I still haven't upgraded my Magnus. I, I did pick up the Ice variant yet. I have not made it because I do not have the uh, orbs to make it. By the way, I can make the screen freeze by stacking too many bullets on one guy. That's kind of awesome. Me and Play Game went and had Catalyzer fun on the first day. It was super fun. But yeah, you know, strike while the iron's hot if you can. If you can't, uh, try not to lose us again because, you know, that year of development, you know, a lot of people from my guild came back for this. Not all of them. Not time. Not flyers. Both of them are gone. Unfortunately, I miss them. Especially time. Time was the guy who got me into my guild. You know, shout outs to you right here, man. But yeah. I, we lost two good men in this. Oh, I can't ride the thing. I can't ride the seesaw anymore. They fixed that. But yeah, you know, I and I don't want to see this happen again. I, w I would like to see bi biannual updates. Biannual updates for a development team your size wouldn't be completely out of the question. I know you guys have been getting smaller. I don't know how small you've gotten. I don't really know your development team size, but I'm just judging by indie standards. Um, but yeah, biannual updates would not be completely out of the question. That's typically what you've run so far. Um, and I'd like to see us get back to this, not the reverse of one update every year and, you know, three months or so. Anyway, I think that's about it for right now. I, I can't think of anything else that I failed to cover. I went over a lot of stuff in my first impressions video, and I just had to go over the armor here. Uh, hopefully this all kept, because I just kind of went ranty on you guys for a little bit there. I apologize, but, you know, things happen. 
Yo, three rings, if you're listening. Let us strike while the iron's hot. I can't stop saying it. Maybe I'll find a clip of Igus. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys back here for Christmas, or Winterfest in this case. And until then, you know, have a good day. See you guys later. Bye.